guys. Hi. Hi. How was the show? Very fun. We had an amazing time. It was a good crowd. Uh, everybody was grooving, which is always a good thing. <laughs> Dancing. It's always good when oh, the crowd I've, is moving. I thought, you, I thought you said grieving. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully not. But they were dancing, which was fun. Uh, it's always a positive. Is, uh, is uh, our grooving and grieving part two parts of the same, uh, two sides of the same coin? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I need like a master's degree to, to answer yeah. that question. In psychology. Yeah. <laughs> You've released Static last year. It's well documented why you named the album, but would you say like the sound of Static? Is it sometimes more interesting to you guys than even some music that's around? I would say yes, and she would call me crazy for that. <laughs> um, around the time of the record, I had uh, like a few TVs in my house that I was just constantly kind of blasting. But you know, it's it's just a soothing kind of sound. Like I go to sleep most nights listening to uh, white noise on my headphones because the guy next to me is snoring. So I just kind of like the guy on tour. Yeah, yeah. Not like he has a guy in his bed every night. <laughs> Maybe I do sometimes. The guy that just lives in his. <laughs> the, guy that lives, the little elf who lives in my bed next to me. Yeah, he snores a lot. But um, yeah, so you know, it's constantly um, prevailing sound in our lives. Oh. How do you pull that off? How do you have static like? Because there's no t unless you you have a Walkman or something, and even those have like this stop uh, stop thingy. I have an app. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the white noise app. The white the static app. Yeah. Doesn't, for instance, like static, even though it's non-purposeful. Doesn't it have like some ghost tones in it? Like right. there's there's some stuff, you know, it's it's going on. And for me, it almost had a special resonance because um, what, you know, like pink noise, for example, is is it sounds the same thing. It sounds like static, but it's an equal representation of every frequency that you can possibly hear. It's like, you know that kind of cheesy thing where the sculptor just starts like a big block of clay and then you just chip away at it, you know? And that's like the essence of music is just that noise. And then what you create out of that is just what you, the little pieces you take from it. I could hardly make you mine. Is that obviously about each other? <laughs> No, I don't think so. But when when Madeline um, came up with the lyric the first time, I thought that was so such a cool phrase because I'd never heard that anywhere. And I googled it, and I thought like this surely must have come from somewhere. But the only thing I could find on Google was a uh, translation of a Korean karaoke song. <laughs> like I'm still not sure if it's proper English, mm -hmm. but it sounds like a kind of like a Sam Cooke title or something, you know? Um, like, I, I don't know, like Otis Redding, I loved it from the very beginning. And so, it was Broken English something that you you guys like? We love yeah. Broken English. <laughs> yeah. We love it. Can you remember any sort of uh, Broken English examples? You've heard of Kiari Pamiu Pamiu. She's got some amazing Japanese songs. Star. Japanese wow. pop star. She's, you should check her out. Because of the relationship thing, you probably get that a lot, you know, like in all the interviews or something. Like, yeah, you know, people ask us. <laughs> but you guys get along, obviously. Oh yeah, we're great friends. Mm -hmm. So that's why you, know, you guys keep going and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's no weird weirdness at all. We're best friends, the whole entire band. Uh, we hang out all the time, even when we're not on tour. And yeah, no drama. I don't think there's been thing. more than four days where we haven't all seen each other in the last four years. Yeah. So it's, it's like, even with a lot of bands where people, um, you know, people who function great on tour, they'll go home and say like, I'll see you guys in five months, you know. But for us, it's like I'll see you in five hours. So no Fleetwood Mac then. No drama. <laughs> no drama. No. So there's no trouble, but like. Um, 
That's to you know Madeline Storms out the the <laughs> like the other the interview or something. She just might oh, if we yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we run into, into the sleigh bells set, we're both gonna storm out of here. Yeah, because they do that to people. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't cults supposed to be scary most of the time? We are. You we haven't are. seen. I almost when I stormed out, it almost got scary for you, oh, but. <laughs> Cults are never scary in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, then it dawns on you that it might, yeah. you might, you might not be doing any, something very correct. Or right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure.